Greg applies a transformation to a graph using the transformation order rules learned in this lesson. Next, Colin applies the same transformation to the same graph. He tries a different transformation order, applying all the vertical transformations first, followed by all the horizontal transformations. According to the transformation order rules we have been using in this lesson, stretches and reflections first, translations last, Colin should obtain the wrong graph. However, Colin obtains the same graph as Greg. How is this possible? Let's bring up the graph. Greg transforms the graph by applying the stretches and reflections first, followed by the translations. Colin transforms the graph by applying the vertical transformations, followed by the horizontal transformations. Why are both graphs the same? Because transformations are axis independent. In the mapping, we can see that transformations applied to the x coordinate are completely separate from transformations applied to the y coordinate. This means that two methods exist for transformation order. In method 1, apply stretches and reflections first, followed by translations. In method 2, apply all the vertical transformations together and apply all the horizontal transformations together in either order.